Hi everybody, I'm Anthony Fiamma from Vino Fiamma, and I'm very happy to have a very good friend of mine here today, Rick Pasqualone. Rick Pasqualone is not only a childhood friend of mine, a great friend, but he's also um, a very accomplished voice man and actor. He's done everything from star in the off-Broadway play Tony and Tina's Wedding. He was Tony. Um, he's done numerous TV shows from Friends to CSI to Charmed, which happens to be one of my favorites. We're going to ask some questions about that. And uh, he's also now has become uh, pretty popular for the video game Mafia 2. He is the main voice Vito. And that means to me nothing because I don't play video games, but I'm sure there's tons of kids right now out there that are, know him and uh, probably uh, would love to see him at one of those uh, Comic Cons. Yeah. And they're big now, huh? They're huge. Wow. That's with the Trekkies. I don't know if the kids would play this game because uh, we broke the record for the most swear words in any video game. We're actually in the Guinness Book of World Records for saying the F word wow. more times. And yeah, so I'm very proud of that. Very proud my, of you. my mother's very proud. Yeah. Very proud of you. Very proud of you. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to have a little, little espresso. Ooh, espresso. Normally we would have the Lavazza in the background, but the Lavazza is broken, so we're going to do a nice cold espresso today. The nice Illy shot. So. Nice product placement. Nice there product is. placement. I don't make a dime. <laughs> That's delightful. All right, so I got a question for you. Yes. Charmed. Yes. So Lisa Milano is hot in person as she is on TV? Yes. She is hot. Yes. And what about the other two? Great, wonderful. Everybody was very nice there. But uh, yeah, Lisa Milano is uh, something special. F. Mary Kill, Holly Marie Combs, Alyssa Milano, Rose McGowan. Ooh. That's well, a good one, huh? Well, you got to kill, you know, kill, the, kill the other one there just right off the bat. Right, just, kill just, her. Yes, kill her. Uh, and then, uh, yeah, F, uh, F Rose McGowan, and then definitely, you know, you gotta marry, you gotta marry the Paisan. The Paisan from sure, New Jersey. Sure, yeah. Because she makes a nice sauce, too, when you take her. That's what I hear. That's what I hear. That's okay. True. She likes hockey players, though. Yeah, well, I, yeah. But I'm, I, I'm out, you're in. Uh, yeah, no, I'll, I'm, put, I'll put in a good word for you. I, I don't think she's looking for me, so that's okay. <laughs> All right, so listen, we're gonna drink some wine here. Uh, Rick is nice enough to come down. And we're going to do some summer wines. Great ideas for the summer. You drink wine, right, Rick? I enjoy a nice glass. You come from uh, the wine capital of the U.S., California. That's right? true. Yeah. So you, lie, you, you go to all the wineries out there, huh? I'm silly with the wineries. Silly? I go up there. Napa, Sonoma. We go, we go bananas up there. Well, we're going to do a little Italiano style now. Yeah. Okay? And one of the wines that I want to taste with you is, uh, this is from Sorrentino. The producer, and this is literally these. This is a producer that is located on Mount Vesuvius volcano. This is a white wine, and the grape is Cota de Volpi. Cota de Volpi, the wolf. No, no, no. You're close. You're close. Oh, the fox. The fox. Ah, Cota de Volpi, the tail of the fox. Uh -huh. Tail of the fox, because the grape clusters look like the uh, the tail of the fox. Now, what's great about this grape is it, it because it grows on the volcanic soil. It's full of minerals, so you're going to taste some wonderful minerals in here. You're gonna taste uh, just great for the summer. So, salute, welcome. Mm, that's right. Now I see what you're saying. So we got a lemony, a mm -hmm. lemony mineral quality to it. Yeah, that's really nice. Yeah. So and it's not unlike the unlike the California whites. It doesn't have any of that oak. Yeah, this 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 this, the, this happens to not have any oak in it. I think a lot of the European producers, especially the Italians, um, they, they sometimes will try to make, I call, an American wine, right. where they try to copy California once in a while, where it used to be the opposite. Right. I prefer personally, whenever they have a varietal, to taste the varietal. I don't like too much manipulation with oak and all that nonsense. I just like, if it comes from Vesuvius, I want it to taste like it comes from Vesuvius. Right. I want to taste the volcanic ash. That's right. right. There you go. I want to taste it. Okay, the next wine we're going to do. This is from Quinto do Vento Zello. What did I say? <laughs> Quinto do Vento Zello. Quinta, again, just means a state bottled winery. Whenever you talk about Portuguese wine by law, they're, they're only allowed to call it Quinta if it's a state bottle. Vento Zello Iced Wind. One of my favorite wineries in Portugal, in the Douro. And this happens to be uh, a mixture of a lot of indigenous grapes uh, from the Douro, with the exception of Moscatal, which it does grow in other places. Um, and this has a whole different, uh, a whole different structure to it. This happens to be a little bit more floral. It happens to be a little more uh, fuller-bodied. 
So this can even hold up with meats and, uh, you know, it doesn't necessarily have to be just a light summer wine. This can hold up to food also. So kind of, kind of fantastic. Portuguese wines right now. It's wonderful. Portuguese wines right now, I think, are the hidden secret of Europe. I think they're the best value to quality you can get out there right now. And little by little, you're starting to see more. Okay, now, this is one of my favorite summer wines. I mean, we've had, I mean, I enjoy all these wines, but I think if I have to pick one that, you know, I think the biggest misconception is rosé. Rosé, I try to tell, scream to the world, it's a little bit of a mission of mine, is to just let everybody know what exactly it is. I, I simplify it and just call it cold red wine. The difference between a lot of rosés, uh, technically, and red wine is, what gives wine the color is its skin. So this happens to sit one day with the skins, this particular wine. This is a rosé from Lake Garda, Italy, Lombardia. That's what the rich Italians are. Sure. Lombardia, aristocratics. Um, this happens to be uh, a blend of different, different indigenous grapes. Some, some uh, favorite Italian grapes like Sangiovese and Barbera. But there's also a grape in here called Gropello. Gropello is indigenous to Lake Garda and uh, Marzamino, which is a funny name, mm -hmm. and you'll never remember it, and I barely remember it, but it's in this bottle. And what it does is, if, you, if it, this was a pure red wine, this would sit with the skins maybe seven days, and it would get a darker color. This happens to be non-oaked. So this is a, a nice everyday rosé, sits one day with the skins, non-oaky, but it comes out with a wonderful, almost like a watermelon flavor. Uh, drop of watermelon and these are if you don't want to drink beer or if you don't want to drink white wines and you're a red wine drinker rosé is almost perfect you know don't go with the mis don't go with the misconception that this is like a white Ziffendel which, which in the past was that's what it was it was a very sweet cheapy wine this some rosés are so complex and wonderful and um, every year I see them getting more and more popular. Now, do you always serve it chilled or can you serve it room temperature as well? I would serve, that was that a preference in, in reality, but yes, you should serve these chilled. You can make it as cold, you know, I like it, at, you know, cold but not ice cold. Right. And again, it's a preference. I mean, if you want to drink it warm, it's a free country, you know? Yeah. So far, it's still a free country, we, you know. I'm going to put it over ice with a crazy straw, how about that? What? With one of those silly straws? Yeah. I don't remember those? Yeah. Wow. We're men of certain ages. Yeah. That's right. But um, yeah, these, this, is, this is fantastic. Now, what I would like to know is, uh, what, what I would like to know, Rick is here, and if I, if I send him away without using his talents, I don't know what I'll do, but he's a master of voices. So I wanna see, I was just wondering. Now, I, I, wanna, I, I wanna do a voice too, but it's bad, I do a bad voice. That's it's, all right. So you, you could do, I know you do a really good, I know one of the things you do, it, but, it, but I'm gonna have to get grapes to do it, but you do a good job. So let's just say, let's just say, for example, do you, do you want to meet the Godfather? That yeah, that's why I wanted to meet the Godfather. You can meet the Godfather, but you have to pour the wine first, because without, without the wine, you just you can't enjoy life, because life is wine, and wine is life. It's like it's it's the like river. it's like Brando's in the room with you, <laughs> and it's not even like you know. All right. I didn't even need the grapes in my mouth. See? Didn't even well, need. I have the grapes in my mouth, but they're in liquid form. <laughs> anyway, All right, let's say See what I did there? Yeah, hey, see, well, I was very clever. All right, let, let me tell you something. Let's say Robert De Niro was drinking wine. What would Robert De Niro do? Well, first of all, with De Niro, you got to make the face, because the face first, well, then the voice comes. So what I have to say to you is this. You. It's my De Niro face. You. This is very, very good, you. This is very, very good. I only poured you a little bit. A little bit. A little no, bit. A little bit. A little, bit. A little stingy, I gotta say. A little, stingy, a little, a little bit. bit. No, I got a, a bottle. Bit. I got a whole bottle. Give no, it you salted it. me a little bit. I'll put it. No, no. You salted me a little bit. I'll put it in a yeah, bag. You salted take, me a little, bag, little, little bit. Very nice. Very nice. All right. The guy that I like. Yeah. Which I didn't know this. Who's that? Christopher Walken made his career as a dancer. As a dancer. He was in Pennies from Heaven with That's Steve true. Martin, mm -hmm. and I didn't realize how great of a, like this guy isn't, like you, you can't believe it's him dancing. But there was that video that came out, was it Flat, Fat Slim, uh, Slim yeah, something? Yeah. Fat Boy Slim. Fat Boy yeah. Slim, yeah. where he's, he was tap dancing all over the place. That was great. So, and I loved him in The Headless Horseman. I, I liked him when he does wacky roles, like in Pulp Fiction. You know, you know he's kind of wacky. The wine, what can you do with a glass of wine? You can, you can swirl it. You can... You can quaff it. 
But most of all, you know, you, you, gotta, you gotta drink it. You gotta drink it up. Can you tap dance? No, I'm too busy drinking. Oh. All right, let's just say, let's just say, yeah. the young, good-looking version of Sean Connery before he was old, like, you know, like when he was like getting tons of chicks, hot chicks. Yeah. Uh, the guy was a man. He's still a man. I mean, how many, what is he, 80 years old? Probably. He's got to be 80 years old. Still, I hope that guy, you know, hope he makes 100. You never want to see your, the, the icons die. James Bond can't die. Yeah, but the new guy's pretty good, too. Yeah, I like him, too. I like him. I like him. He's, he's more of a tough guy James Bond instead of like those... Yeah, but I can't do an impression of him. No, 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 no. No, I know that. That's a... That's, uh, Daniel Craig. Daniel Craig. No, no. Where, but, but Sean Connery. How do you do... How, what's a good... Yeah, let me give Sean Connery a little wine here. Thank you very much. Normally, I prefer a glass of scotch, but they shall have to do. That's not a bad... Uh, but he's Welsh, isn't he? No, he's Scottish. Is he from... He's from Scotland? Yes, of course I am. Who's from Wales? Can you do Tom yeah, Jones? I think he's a Tom Jones. Oh, Tom Jones. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, what's new, pussycat? I don't, know, I don't quite have the equipment to do Tom Jones, <laughs> if you know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> well, back in the day. <laughs> they used to throw the panties on stage for Tom Jones. Yes, they did for me too, but I threw them right back. You threw them right back. Yes. Now I can't do a Scottish accent for it. You, you, do, you do a Bill Clinton? Is that, is that true? Well, you know, normally, Anthony, I'm up in Harlem at my office, you know, and Monica and I enjoy a glass of wine. Did I say Monica? I meant Hillary. Hillary. <laughs> Hope she's not watching. <laughs> Love you, honey. Um, what about... Uh, what about Morgan Fre Freeman? I mean, you can you can do a Morgan Freeman? Well, you know, my friend Anthony once said, get busy drinking or get busy dying. Damn right. I have to be honest, it's a little bit like Catherine Hepburn. <laughs> well, I don't know about Catherine I don't Hepburn. Know. <laughs> she always sounds like she's starting her car in the morning. <laughs> Well, this was fun. I'm glad I came on. So, yeah. So, listen. This is great. So, I'm, I'm glad you, did, you came to visit. Um, thank you for coming. And, uh, you know, hopefully if anybody, you know, as far as summer wines go, enjoy the wines. If anybody wants to check out any of uh, Rick Pasqualone's work, I'm going to put some links on the bottom of this. And you can go in there and click. You can friend him on Facebook if you like. You can uh, see his videos. And uh, that would be great. So thanks for coming out. Salute. Ciao, 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 ciao.